we welcome Uno one more time after this break to this segment of the program, Ospat. We finally bring the invited guests where we have every day a special into this connection from the music to the world. Um, we have a DJ from Jamaica, in Barron, Jamaica, with Colombian parents and Colombian roots in that. So producer, yeah, so compose and write music. So I give him a move right here. So I welcome into the music, him that Jilly's Levels. Lego, welcome him. Yeah. Welcome, Wago. I feel happy to be here, y'all. Okay. It's an honor and a blessing, you see it. Yeah, man, we're happy to have you here um, in the program. And it was just curious reading over your, your biography and, and looking looking at you personally now and um, getting like all the, the feedback that we read. We definitely see that you have a, a nice mix and there are cultural things that we can talk about. So much different and variety into the things that we can have in conversation today. So let's know who is uh, Jilly Levels right here in the music. Yeah, man. So, you hear me? Well, yeah, me hear you. So, basically, I am promoting my new EP. This is my first debut EP. It's called Rhythm Shack EP. It's a mixture of like my Colombian and Jamaican roots because basically I was raised in Jamaica, but by Colombian parents. They don't know, say so a whole heap of the Colombian music got in the mixture, like the cumbia and the vaginata and the salsa and all these things. And basically, that mix up together with the reggae, the dub, the dance style, uh, just build up what is today Rhythm Shack. I mean, this um, project is very, very Did you hear us? Yeah, man, me hear you. You hear me now? We never get the last part. You never get the last part? I thought. Oh, all right. Let's, let's <laughs> sorry, <step>. sorry. <laughs> Hello, you hear me now? Yeah, we don't hear you. <laughs> all right, so you did get everything that we did no, say no, a no, while just, ago? No, no, just the last part. But we can continue. No. All right, so, yeah, man, let's continue. Well, good. The last part is that music is life, and I love what I do, and I love express myself. Is it? All right. OK, Julie, that's just a nice um, description of, of where you come from. You are from um, Colombian parents, but raised up in Jamaica. Comment to us how was that uh, process in your in your life? How you feel as Colombian and how you feel as Jamaican? Well, as a Colombian, as I feel very passionate to be from there because I can understand the culture. Uh, well, my parents are. Clearly, <laughs> Rolos. So okay. there's a lot of differences and a lot of similarities to Jamaican culture as well. Like you know, Colombians seem to be very social people, just like Jamaicans. We love music, we love the vibes, we love for party every day of the week. You know, <laughs> and that's something. <laughs> We love both our cultures. And, yo, may I tell you, but we love party, we love party. If we, if we choose between sleep and party, we rather party. Z. <laughs> Please just don't let out eat, because as Caribbean people and Colombian people, we love with belly too. We love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean, know, I mean, don't know, like, if um, in San Andres, them love spicy food, but yes. in Jamaica, we love with spicy food. Do you love spicy food, too? For sure, we have scotch bonnet, the basket pepper. Well, personally, I use mm -hmm. curry. Yep. We have different things, too. 
Yeah, man. Ah, okay. Yeah, man. Yo, um, <laughs> and in the same, the same way, me love my spiciness. Me love, me love the to add that similar spice in my in my music as well. Is it want to add something extra where distinguish me different from other producer and artists and all these things? Because you know, what for our, our signature thing, what for other hotness to is it? Uh -huh. That um, we read uh, that. Um, you have influence from Colombia, you have influence from Jamaica, but you have influence also from art and from elsewhere all over the world. We'd like to know what other influence you have uh, in your music when you are composing or doing your, your thing. Okay, so, well, my influences come from 80s pop music, specifically from the US. Uh, I really like the Eurythmics and the synth wave from the 80s, and I use that influence in my music as well. We have uh, African culture. Uh, I listen to a whole heap of African jazz, like Fela Kuti, and we also listen to the African influence of, from South Africa, like, D, like uh, DJ Coffee, who plays Afro House and produces Afro House as well. But also, my love listen to Bossa Nova and Samba from Brazil, so I get a lot of my percussions and a lot of my guitar sounds from Brazil. And then we jump to Japan, where one of my favorite hip hop producers named New Jabez gave me some influence because the man can sample pianos and play violin and play all these authentic Japanese instruments like the koto. And then we go to India, where there's Bengali music, there's a whole heap of Bangra going on, and you know, so we like to like keep it fresh. We like to explore the music from all over the world. I love learning new things. One of the things that I have now is basic whenever I travel to a new place, I want to buy a musical instrument so I can like use it wow. in my production and learn it and full joy the journey. So exciting, so exciting. All that um, you're telling us and sharing with us, uh, definitely, is just uh, not uh, the link that you have with this country and the other, but with the world uh, music, and that is something nice. We must be world citizens and be so, um, like, socialized and, and read about culture, you know, and have all these things into the insight so we can give the people a fresh proposal, and that is what you did try to do and currently what you're doing. Um, let us ask you about the things them, that you do in uh, Jamaica. Um, I believe I read that you're based right now in uh, Sweden, but you have like a jungle party. I San Andreas back in 2012. Yeah. Sorry, boy. What are going? You you hear you heard what I was saying? Yeah, about about the culture. Yeah, come on. Okay, so I was asking you back to the things that you do in Jamaica. I heard um, that you have a jungle party, but you're based in a Sweden. So how you do like to manage them things or what you're actually on? Dilly, you there? Yeah, yeah. So. The Jungle Party is called the Big Lala. We we created a bar. Um, we built up. With some from, from Kingston and Montego Bay and some artists as well. We had a whole heap of musical artists coming through for Bless Up The Place. We had um, upcoming young artists, singers and all these things like Black Hero. Yeah. Uh, we, we had um, we had selectors going up there, like real root selectors. Okay, okay, that's nice. Right now, we're going by our little short break. Here, yeah, we listen to you. Okay, right now we're going by a little short break. We're going to see a video when you come to San Andreas and enjoy with music a lot. We'll go with you. <laughs> 
fire burn, fire burning. Mi corazón burn, fire burn, fire burning. Mi corazón burn, fire burn, fire burning. Mi corazón burn, fire burn, fire burn. Nena, dime cómo pasa este trago amargo. Este trago amargo. Antes todo comenzó como una flecha en el corazón. Ahora es una lanza que nos destrozó a los dos. Dos balas en el corazón. Boom, boom. to be with you just to lay no baby right next to you and the material things have no cost without you girl my life is lost i dream of you when i'm awake and when i go to sleep baby girl my eyes can't cause it can't stay it's that I, I never was beside you my life my heart my mind my body is for you I love you with clothes, and when you're naked too. This is my OVP, the sketch, bring it back, keep it real for our Lord. Dub sketch. me in every single way i can't let go of the past i'm living yesterday yo they up on the bedside or where we used to lay yo they up on the couch yo where we used to play so yo i don't say content mic pond with your baby you know say we are mashing up with agua still mc you know say with them both in our sun and dress yo big up all the people and big up all the chris you They are, yo, we chillin' pan the street Cause we they are and we cut it and we put it pan the street yo, yeah, like I can't really always be it, uh, because definitely uh, we have to talk about that That song we just passed uh, Because I see you didn't enjoy yourself You didn't interpret the guitar the right way And you didn't sing, you know uh, Well, you didn't sing and you didn't, you didn't with, uh, with, OBP. with OBP And uh, all, all the artists, a well, couple of the artists from the island How was the experience? when you come down, came down here? Yo, honestly felt like I was home. San Andres feels like Jamaica to me. Honestly, the vibe, the people, the energy, everything, man. But you know what's beautiful about San Andres? That it's so unique, that it's incomparable. OBP, OBP kind of like influenced me because he took me under his wing. He made me his DJ when he was performing at the Green Moon Festival back in 2012, 2013, sorry. Then my virgin Pablo, Pablito Pazblitan, him bring me to San Andres, you know, to do a little cultural exchange, to get to know more about the island, about the people, and to explore music. And I also met Shungu okay. and Shungu's family. They took me into their home. 
It was amazing, incredible. I, made, I met some incredible producers as well, like DJ Charles, Mr. Pumps, and we're for big up all the producers from San Andreas that are doing big things around the world right now. Cause you don't know, say for such a small island, San Andreas have big talent. May I tell you? Yes, for sure, for sure. It got a lot of talent, and we want to carry out not only in Colombia but to the whole world and carry out good, good, good music. Julie, comment to us how was that nice experience? Not only that. Um, music exchange but further and the cultural exchange we seen you that you was eating rondon comment to us the different at the rondon from jamaica from the rondon from <laughs> yo yo well the wonderful thing about the experience with the rondon in the video is that we got to buy the ingredients ourselves from the market and then go up the hill through san luis because we went up to orange hill on this little platter farm we just sit down go camping set up the fire play some music start freestyling and the bridging them just start recording really straight away that was a that was a straight freestyle from me and obi and the bridging from from bogota he belongs to this amazing reggae band called dub killer combo check him out as well and yo, we have to tell you, the rundown, turn up. It, you need to change the name of the rundown, the name run up, because I make you run up and then forget our plates. And between, between you guys and me, real talk is a secret. So keep it to yourself. <laughs> San Andres Rondon is number one. Number one, may I tell you. Nothing can better than San Andres Rondon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that review. I know um, them big mamas and uh, the culture and the one them will love the cuisine part. We'll be very uh, glad to hear this from a Jamaican raised person and someone that traveled to the Caribbean and maybe tastes different things uh, than our Rondon if we run down good. Um, let us start, Julia, what you're doing right now, actually what you're working on, because if I'm not bad, you're in Sweden. Yeah, right now I'm in Sweden. I moved to Sweden to be with my fiance. I fell in love with Jamaica aye, aye, aye. with a Swedish girl. And she <laughs> took me. And she took me. She took me from the Tell island him. and bring me to cold, cold Sweden. <laughs> And then, well, right now I'm working with I'm working with Jamaican artists. I'm building rhythms for them right now. We are working with Earth and the Fullness. We are working with Capleton right now. Wow. We're also going to be working with Loot and Fire. New artists like Black Hero, Zana Romeo, Vanessa Bongo, all these names down the list. Um, uh, what, who else? Also working with uh, the big production house Natural High and Teflon Zinc Fence. They are Grammy nominated and Grammy winning as well. They were also involved in my most recent project, project that's out now on all platforms named Rhythm Shack. It's my first project on my own. And uh, just check it out on Spotify and all other platforms, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, anywhere you're there. YouTube as well. And what else we can say about it? Well, there's a lot of big surprises coming up as well because I'm also working with a Swedish reggae band, so we're going to add the flavor to, to some Swedish reggae as well. I'm working with another bridging in Germany right now, and we're going to do some, like, reggae cumbia dog thing as well. It's just a whole heap of things, wow. you see me? <laughs> Reggae cumbia dub thing, okay. A lot. Yeah, man. Uh, you can see that you are, you are moving a lot. Uh, you're doing a lot of things. Uh, I would ask you, which culture you think you represent the most? Jamaican culture or Colombian culture? In yourself, in your essence. Yeah, that's in my essence, I feel Jamaican, but you know, 
because I was born and raised there for most of my life. But when I moved to Colombia, I lived to Colombia for those nine years. I moved around Colombia a lot from tip to tip and, you know, learned so much about the culture, worked, studied. I kind of feel like 50-50 now, even though it's only been nine years that I've been in Jamaica, in Colombia, I feel like I'm really like multicultural, not just Jamaican, but also Colombian. Some people might say, yo, it's impossible to be two things in life. But trust me, it's not impossible because I feel how Colombian people feel in certain situations and I feel how Jamaican people feel in certain situations. And it's also sometimes good to have both perspectives to like land you in a more neutral level and think logically and passionately at the same time. Yeah, it's that... possible, man. It's possible to be more than one thing. Sure, yeah, that, that is the, the real love and that feeling that we got from the place where you grew up in and the place where you're born really is, is something that really you can't express in words, but the feeling is right there so far, sure. Jilly, it was a really nice, nice interview. Thanks for accepting the invitation to share with us all that experience that, that you got around the music and continue the big up and they make all them nice music because really um, here. So we really needed the Caribbean people really need it and for sure you are welcome back to San Andres whenever you want and here's so in the music too we want before we say goodbye you give us advice especially to all the people in that watching us at this award that want to be an artist a producer or anything around the art of the music what advice you can give them this evening all right May I go give you a quote? I will leave you with one quote. Learn the rules, learn the rules like a pro, so you can break them like an artist. That's all, Mister. Learn the rules like a pro, so you can break them like an artist. Break. Yeah, man, that's all I say. That, that one, nice I think that's, that's knowledge enough, you know. <laughs> oh, we can learn, learn as, learn as much as you can, so you can interpret it your own way and make it your own. You see me? Each Never one. lose your identity. Yes. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was so um, sharp but deep at the same time. We want to give you uh, thanks one more time, Jelly, for enjoying this space with us. Um, we had a little inconvenience at the beginning because you're really, really far the other side of the world. But uh, we get to do this connection with you, and it was uh, nice um, to link up with you. And we want to, you know, extend the invitation as how just let said that anytime you come to San Andreas, you come to the music and you link one more time with us back 2012 that was so 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 far but you have good memory because you remember arrange hill san luis you remember different things where well, probably i will forget if i travel to our next place so let's give you thanks and um i'm going to say goodbye until another occasion bless up here Yo, bless up and lick them where you don't know. Enough love to the people of San Andres Island. You see me? It's an honor and a pleasure. And thank you, beautiful people from the Music Magazine, for having me. Until next time, you don't know, we keep the link. So next time I'm in San Andres, I can meet all of you personally and hold a vibe and a proper energy. Enough yeah, love. Sure. Gilly Levels is out. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, for right now, we'll continue here. So, you know that music. More. But we're going on a short commercial break.